surface. So this is always a part of the season that she really struggles with, but she seems to be able to bring her best tennis when it matters. And I'm sure she's just going to want to be able to get some matches in before the French Open a couple of weeks down the line. Year to date records for a, a second round match at a thousand series event are incredible because you've got Naomi Osaka 13-2. And that's why it was such a surprise when she lost to Mukova. But also Pegula at 19-7 win loss this year, which is mighty impressive itself, especially with someone having to face more of the higher seeds being a lower ranked player. Yeah, she is. You can just see that the confidence that's flowing through her game. She's really just found something this season. I'm not sure what it is, but she's going to want to try and keep doing exactly. Into a final set on court three, by the way. Coco Goff took the first set against Zachary, but the... A number 17 seed, I think she is, isn't she? This one uh, came straight back to win 6 1 second set, but Goff is full of up in the decider. Well, that's the quickest game you could imagine. The first game. The early signs, very good indeed for Naomi Osaka. Anna. Pretty impressive start there. Hitting Sutter play Pliskova instead. Osaka has started like a train out here. 15 30. Seemed to get too un, too ruffled and put off her game by a couple of bad strokes. Consistency levels usually pretty high, but facing two break points here so early in proceedings. Did a thousand series bad shot of the match so far from. Japanese player, I think. Just snatched a little bit of that backhand. But you can already tell. Just so still break point and a second serve. Needs those first serves on the big points. Three out of nine in this game. A little bit of frustration there from Pegula. She tried hard, but it was broken. Soccer two up. Just a little bit frustrated, like you said, struggling. Struggling to find her range in the early stages here. That'll help of the match. Saka stepping inside the baseline and forcing the issue. Knock that forehand away. Needed that ball to fall. God. David Witt, her coach, watching on. The uh, target of most of those glances. Two. 
Pick it. For a winner. A look of disgust on Naomi A little bit misleading. What you get for the next half an hour? <laughs> That's nice. Usually, easily brushed off, although. That doesn't counter with what we saw in Madrid last week when she went out. Let's see if she can fight back here. Brilliant play, a miraculous return from an almost impossible... Does she attack now? I think she does. I don't think she knows how to defend. Oh, she stepped well inside the baseline and 30, maybe a little bit too much. But she still has another opportunity. 30, 40. I think she got a little bit unlucky with the, bounce, the ball yeah. kicking yeah. off that line. Otherwise, she was hotter in the bowl out on court at the moment as well. The number two seed, Naomi Osaka, started like a train, but maybe in danger of being derailed a little here by Jessica Pagula, who's serving at 2-3. That's brilliant. Pagula did everything right in the point, but what a backhand that was. 15 all. And years at the top in the game, Naomi Osaka on clay, 21-16, too impressive. Need the long lens out from there. Should be wrong-footed. Didn't think it was the best drop shot in the world. She oh, <laughs> kicked her it. leg up as though to say, get down. <laughs> she knew that Osaka was going to get it back, but traced the real strides forward she made in her career back to her first title in Washington in 2019 when she was round about 80 in the world. I can know she's in a battle here. Super tennis from Jessica Pagula. Not much that Osaka can do. Let's 